So in this video, I'll show you how to connect your Brother printer MFC J1205W using a USB cable to your computer. This works with Mac or PC computer and you won't have to use the Wi-Fi if you do so and it's also more reliable. It does not come when, with one of these cable in the box. You'll have to get one separately and this is why I'll put links in the description if you want to get this from Amazon. All right, once this is done, let me show you where you connect it on the printer because it's quite tricky. So on most printer, the USB port is on the back or on the sides, but this one, let me show you where it's located. So you're gonna open the scan lid and the USB port is right over here. You don't even see it. Let me give you a small close up. So if we look closer here, you're gonna see USB with the icon of a cable and a port. And if we tilt the camera this way, finally gonna see the port hidden right there. It's a very awkward position, to be honest. So now you're gonna take your cable, whoops. You're gonna take your USB cable over here, printer USB cable, and you're gonna connect it there. So align it push it in the port. You can fish the cable through this small hole over here and close the scan lid. Go on your PC or Mac computer, open Google or Bing and gonna search for brother MFC J 1205 W download. Okay, so type this in your web browser. One of the first results should be the official Brother website. Here it is. Click on it. Then you'll need to select which operating system you are on. This is a Windows computer, so Windows is selected and Windows 11. But if you're on a Mac, select Mac or Linux, Linux. Once you're done, press OK. Go down and select full driver and software package. Go down, select Agree and download. Once you have clicked this, the download will start automatically. Once the download is finished, you're gonna, you're gonna open the file. Now it's a good time to connect the other end of the USB cable in your computer USB port. Oops, the other way. Press yes. Select your language and press next. Then press I accept and press next. Here select local connection USB. Press next. Press next. Press next again. And wait until all the software is installed. Once this is done, you're gonna get the screen. Press next. Press next and finally finish. It will bring you on the brother's website. You can close it. We don't need whatever they're trying to show us here. Now it's time to show you how to print and also how to scan. So open any file you would like to print on your PC. Let's say I want to print this file. Go ahead and select the print icon. Under printer, select your printer. This is not a Canon, so I'll click here and I'll select the broader MFC. Choose how many copies you want, which page to print. Do you want to print in color or in black and white and click print. Perfect. This is how you print. Now let me show you how to scan. To scan, you'll need to go on your Windows computer and in the search bar here, type scan. You're gonna get the scanner app. If you don't have the scan app that comes included on most PCs these days, go in the Windows Microsoft Store, type scan and download the scan app made by Microsoft. Open the app. This is how it looks. Now let me show you how to input the paper. Open the scan lid. Let's say I wanna scan the page over here. I'll simply put it facing down with the top part of your page, okay, towards the right side. 
Then align this corner where you see the arrow with the corner of your paper. Glide them both until they're touching. Close the lid. On the app, make sure that under scanner you have your brother scanner selected. PNG over here, you can select JPEG instead if you're scanning a picture or if you're scanning text, choose PDF. This is the most used. You have color mode, but if you prefer scanning black and white, click here and select black and white. And resolution, by default it's 200, which is great for anything that is text. But if you're scanning a picture, I select usually 600 or 1200 DPI. This will give you the best details, the best results. Fortunately, it also means that your file will be quite large and it will take a while to scan. If you select 200 DPI, usually it takes around 13 seconds. If you select 1200 DPI, it could take a few minutes, three or even four or five minutes. So this is just something to keep in mind. For this example, if I'll just select over here 200, and uh, also save file to, well, select the file, the folder on your computer where you would like the scan to go. Press the scan button once you're ready and the scan will begin. And as I said, since I selected 200, it will only take around 12 seconds. Okay, you're gonna get the message over there that it has been scanned and you can press view to view your scan. It will open whatever you have just scanned. So this is it. This is what my scan looked like. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, but also leave a comment down below. If you have more time and you want to shop for some ink or some paper or even a brand new printer, Check my Amazon affiliate links down below. You support my channel every time you shop through my Amazon affiliate links. Thanks and I'll see you in the next video.